name is Shahir, and I'm addicted to the internet. Addiction is a complex problem that makes someone unable to stop using something or behave in a certain way, even though it can cause mental or physical harm to themselves or the people around them. It is often described with the four C's, craving, loss of control, compulsion to use, and continued use despite consequences. How many hours per day do you think you use your phone? Not too many. Three, four, five at most. When we think of addiction, the common ones like alcohol or drugs may come to mind. But people can also become addicted to things like gambling, eating, working, exercising, using the internet, shopping, and sex. Addiction makes someone unable to control their behavior and maybe even neglect or lose interest in other healthy activities. There are also often profound changes in appearance and noticeable abandonment of hygiene. Other symptoms include anxiety, irritability, tremors, shaking, vomiting, a loss of appetite, and the list goes on. So how many hours per day would you say that Shahir is on his, um, on the internet in general? Um, I would say like he's like always on his phone, either in class, washroom, walking, talking. Like I think we have no sense of communication anymore, you know? Honestly, I don't think I know him like anymore. Well, addiction exerts a long, powerful influence on your brain's pleasure center. You can also think of it as your brain being hijacked by certain substances like alcohol, nicotine, or different behaviors like eating and gambling. All these end up releasing a lot of dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter and is also known as the feel-good chemical. All this extra rush of dopamine activates the brain's pleasure circuitry and puts it into overdrive, which is why it feels so good. So, um, have you tried getting help for your excessive use of the internet? Um, yeah, I've tried cutting down a bit, but the internet, it, I really need it. Like, it helps, helps me keep safe, and for professional help, um, I, don't, I don't think I need professional help. So CBT stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, and cognitive refers to the way people think and behavioral to the way people act. The basic idea behind CBT is that our thoughts on a situation will affect how we feel and act in that situation. People who suffer from addictions often have cognitive distortions, which are negative thoughts blown way out of proportion. If we can help people think in a different way, their reactions and feelings will also change for the better. Since each patient is different, therapists have to work together closely with clients to develop personalized plans, so there needs to be a high level of trust and alliance of sorts. CBT is used mainly for mental health disorders, but it's been adapted to also help those suffering from addictions. This focuses on reducing or even getting rid of the bad using habits and replacing them with healthier alternative behaviors. Like I mentioned before, CBT is often tailored to the individual, but it can involve a number of processes like goal setting, where we come up with specific achievable goals a client wants to achieve in relation to their unhealthy behaviors, relaxation to help decrease anxiety and stress that might come about when facing with temptations that could lead to relapse, and problem solving and coping strategies. So our goal is to prevent relapse, so we educate patients on how to anticipate problems and identify high-risk situations where they would be likely to return to substance abuse. Patients can role-play in safe and controlled environments so that they build confidence and skills to face those situations which pop up in everyday life. To help them with negative thoughts, we sometimes have them use a diary of sorts. It's a written way to keep track of distressing situations and negative thoughts that stem from them. And we take those thoughts and help patients come up with evidence against those thoughts and create more positive, realistic, and new ideas. Much better. I feel like a whole new person. Yeah. I think even my friends, they, they see a difference. 
Yeah, actually, we brought in a friend of yours today that has some words to say to you. Isa, it's really good to see you. Well, you know what? I had to come. So how have you seen Shahir change? Well, honestly, like, I just think he's much more happier. He's, like, socializing more, eating more, taking care of himself, um, more hygienic, thank God. <laughs> and honestly, I feel like I just, like, found my friend. 